Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we're going to talk about packing. This is very important as a lot of people talk about how they get their old computers and monitors shattered because somebody didn't pack them very well. So I'm going to show you how to pack correctly, you know, old computers and monitors so they can withstand the trouble. So let's start. I got here with me an Apple II GS monitor that I actually need to pack. I need to send it out to Europe. So I'm going to show you how to pack it well and how can it will uh, withstand, uh, you know, the trip. First of all, we got to be uh, very knowledgeable of what's happening over here. These old monitors or old computers and pieces are plastic, and the plastic is not. You know it's not new so it has to uh, it tends to to break uh, a lot so um, it is fragile basically we need to make sure that we protect a lot of the uh, more uh, fragile parts and the most fragile parts are the corners so when we pack we need to put a, a lot of effort or more effort in protecting the corners okay uh, by protecting the corners, we will ensure that when, when um, you know, when something hits the box and therefore the, the computer, it, you know, normally what happens if it, it, if it hits the corners, the corners uh, immediately break and make like a wave and break the rest of the parts. So the corners are the most uh, vulnerable things and, and they, were, they were the first that are gonna break everything else. If it was just a normal hit on the side, maybe it can withstand it. But the corners are, are, are vulnerable, so those are the most important ones to, to protect. So the first thing I do when I, um, when I start packing is I take my bubble wrap and I wrap it in two, two ways. In one, uh, you know, one axis and then the other axis. So let's start that, doing that. What I like to do is I like to put the cables, wrap them around, and put them in, in this uh, painter's tape. Why painter's tape? Because the painter tape doesn't leave any, any uh, remainings, uh, so you can take it out pretty easily, but it will hold it enough to, to, to the plate that I want it to, to hold. Another thing that is very important to protect is the glass. So what I do is I put a little piece of cardboard, strong cardboard, or if you can put plastic, better, or if you can put one of those um, uh, thick uh, uh, cellulose, uh, that would be good too. Let me go on and grab some. So here's one. This is uh, very good to protect the front. So what I do is I measure it a little bit smaller than the front and I cut it to size. So at this point, it's gonna be around here. I'm just gonna go over here and cut it with a cutter. Once I have it, I'll position it where it goes. And I'll just tape it. Again, you can use any tape you want. I like to use this one because this doesn't leave any, any residue and it's good for the, for the computer. I don't have to be cleaning things or, you know. And then after that, I'm gonna begin. Of the bubble wrap. This 
bone wrap doesn't protect too much, but it, it offers one layer at least of protection. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. And maybe for the bubble wrap, you want to use a normal uh, tape. So let me bring the, the normal scotch tape. Okay. All right, so the other side, so same thing. Here. Only one small layer of protection. This, this is just for scratches. And this is very thin and not very strong protection. This is just again to be to have the, the first step of protection. One of the things that I like to do is go to the dollar store and get these pool noodles. Pool noodles are awesome for protection. So what I do is I cut them. I took this one, I cut them in half, and I tape it to the corners. And this is, provide, this is gonna provide a lot more protection than what it is right now. So here we go. I already cut a bunch of pieces. This is the bottom. So if I cut it long enough, it's gonna protect also my corners. One. I got two. Okay. Then in the back. And this is a little bit short. So what I'll do, I'll just cut it in half and I'll use the corners because remember the corners are the one the, the important part. Same thing. One and two. The other side, same thing. Up. And 
got my quarter. And this is a dollar worth of protection, you know? So we got our first part done. Now let's talk about the box. I recommend you to use boxes, heavy duty boxes, just like this Home Depot box that I have underneath. Of course, this is very small, but try to use a, a medium size uh, um, box that is slightly bigger than the, the monitor itself. Okay, I'm gonna be using this one that actually a friend of mine sent me something in here, and it's an example of what you gotta do. As you can see, it has it's a box in a box. So this is double protection. So I'm gonna fit this in here. But also, it is important that you, you see that this is, uh, there's a big space in here. So what happens is, remember guys, when somebody sends a package in the mail, what happens? The mailman, he doesn't care, you know, the package man, he doesn't care what you got in there. You, gotta, you can put a lot of things, uh, be careful, fragile, whatever. You know, he's just gonna pick it up and, you know, maybe he's gonna be a nice guy and, and treat it right, but normally he's just gonna dump it over there. He has thousands of those boxes, so he's just gonna dump it over there. So your box has to withstand at least three feet fall. So I just think that the guy is gonna, you know, fall or the box is gonna, he's gonna put somewhere that, and, and the box is gonna fall from it. And it has to withstand a three feet fall. So think about it when you put things inside. Don't, so just don't put, you know, a lot of people put, put like plastic, plastic bags, uh, some little bubble wrap, just put on one or two. No, you gotta make sure that this is really well protected. So you already protected the item, now you gotta protect the box. The most important part to protect are the corners because that's the ones that are gonna get the first uh, um, blow. And also the top and the bottom are gonna, get a big blow. So top and bottom has to be very, very well protected. How do you do that? With this, you know, maybe you want to use a thick, a thick one. You want to, maybe you want to use a thin one. This styrofoam is very good. It will withstand a lot of things and it will protect a lot. So you got to put these things on top, on the bottom, and if possible on the sides. And then on the corners, you gotta put more things. So let's keep on going. Let me see if I can put these big ones. They're kind of big. So if I measure, they go all the way to the top. Yeah, maybe it will work. So I'll put one on the bottom. And I put my monitor, but look at this. Here's a problem. And, and there's a lot of people that says uh, these things also, that the monitors have to be shipped with the, with, with the uh, glass facing down. Um, I'm not sure if it, that's true or not, but a lot of the boxes will not be able to, to have enough space on top to do that. So that's another problem. And right now I'm finding a problem over here because yes, it will fit, but look, my back is touching this, and I'm afraid that it can has, have a problem. Over here, I don't have a problem because I got the protection, plus I got the, the piece that I put over there. So, you know what? Uh, I think I, I'll, I'll be able to live with that. And I'll put thinner pieces in the back that, it, that will still protect it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in here, and now I got more protection over here. If I have a chance, I'll also put another one here. Remember, I already have the, the piece inside, then I have the edges, and now I got this. Okay, now I got space over here, so what am I gonna put? I'm gonna put more of this. 
pieces on the sides. Uh, maybe this is too little. Let me see if I can fix these guys. Um, no, but I can fit this. Yep. So, I'm gonna cut these, and actually this will go all the way to the edges. So this is good. So what I do is I measure it with the side over here. And maybe I'm gonna have to cut it. Um, I wanna see if I can make two of this. So I'm just gonna cut it over here and whatever it, it ends, and I'll, I'll put the edges over here. Okay, so I'm fitting them over there. As you can see, I put this one over here. I just put this over here. I'm cutting this all the way in. And this piece, I'm gonna cut it. I can put another piece in here. And it's protecting the edges also. And this one, oh, maybe I can put it all the way in here. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Same here. I'm gonna put it all the way in here. Now the other way. Look at this one. So it's, it's tight, it protects my corner, and there's space in there. So I'm gonna put it in this here. You see, I'm protecting everything. There's almost no space in between. And then this will be on top. You can see my corners are protected. My corners are protected here. I should put something over here so I, I have a little bit more padding. You see there's a little space here. A little bit of space here that I need to protect. And I'm gonna put these guys over here so they they can make some for the, for the open space that I have between this and the top. And then the top is gonna cover it. So there you have it guys. This is very well protected. It will withstand you know, blows around, it's double boxed. Okay. So this will withstand almost every, anything. There you go, guys. This is the way that you wanna sh uh, ship it out. Now, if you wanna really, really make sure, and this is a very valuable monitor, and maybe there's like an Apple 100 that it's one in a million, you wanna make another bigger box and put this box inside the bigger box. And pad in between that bigger box and this box, put padding in between. So you got triple padding. Okay? All right, guys. So uh, hopefully this video is good for you. Um, also for, if you can send it to the people that's gonna send you something when you buy something on eBay, maybe you can show the link to it for this video and they know how to pack things well. Okay? So that's all for, all, for now. And uh, please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment a lot. Thank you and see you next time.